my elevate, elevator pitch to describe the school is is something like sort of the fundamental premise of this school is is fairly optimistic and and it's based on mm-hmm. the idea that in general people want to and are capable and are driven to live satisfying lives mm. and that if you give children the space and the time to experiment and to, mm. to discover what is genuinely satisfying to them and genuinely dissatisfying to them, that they will learn how to navigate their lives and develop skills based on that drive for independence and satisfaction. And so mm-hmm. we create an environment where children are free to do that. Nice. Nice. The example I always give based on that is the way that a baby will learn how to walk and talk without formal instruction. They just see mm-hmm. people around them modeling the behavior and they want to be able to emulate it. Mm-hmm. 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 Wait, so you didn't attend walking classes as a child? No, I, didn't. <laughs> I was very advanced. I just decided, you know, to give it a shot. <laughs> no, I tested no. out of crawling 201. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Pepper. Do you run into a challenge explaining it to your peers when you run into kind of just other kids your age in the in the general public? <laughs> well, it doesn't actually come up that often. Most people mm. just assume you go to a school like them and you True. know, you just sort of go along. What's your favorite class? Oh, ASL. You know, I take <laughs> yeah. ASL classes. It's just by choice. Yeah, yeah. When it does come up, it's actually not that hard to explain. I've explained it for, you know, my whole life right. really. But you just give them a little elevator pitch and they're like, oh, that's weird. And they kind of just move on with their lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people are generally receptive to it when you do have a deeper conversation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's the deeper conversation part that's really challenging. I was at the village free school for a year and, and we went to the courthouse. And it was a day in which school groups were all over this courthouse. Okay, so it's like the county courthouse. And we go into this one, it's a, it's a, a interesting court where they like have really rapid fire stuff. Like they, they have people coming in, they do a thing, they switch to the next one. But in between those, the judge was like recognizing schools and saying, oh, what school are you from? You know? And, and so we're from the village free school and, and we're a small group, but she asked, and of course I, I'm not taking, you know, lead on explaining the school. I let the kids do it. And so one of the girls is like, oh, we're the village free school. And, you know, and then the judge is you know, giving that kind of scowl and skeptical look that some adults do. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then she has her explain it, you know, it, it, and of course we know we don't have time, but anyway, she's, she says something like, yeah, we, we get to do anything we want, <laughs> you know, yeah. which is like, oh, okay. And, and, you know, this judge didn't have a very positive response, but it's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> you gotta be able to read your audience. Yeah. Yeah. And she, the, the girl who was responding was probably, you know, 10, you know, so hadn't hadn't developed like the full uh, articulated response that that an older child might have had yeah you know, or someone with longer she she was also i don't think she'd been in the school for more than a year or two so you know mm. but it was fun it was interesting <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh-huh. that was probably the most important thing to her about the school and and yet when you're explaining it it's important to include the context for how there are limits to and anything you want and actually why the freedom to do what you want is a good thing. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Exactly. And that's that's then I mean, that's part of why why I put this show together is because I I wanted to be able to kind of talk to people who are who are in it and 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 living it because I'm not currently. I'm I'm just kind of doing my own thing writing books and stuff. But I wanted to be able to have a forum in which we can really probe some of the details and 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 have a deeper conversation about what it means and how it works. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.